Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines and today I'm going to be doing a video on Luminar AI. This is part of my Luminar AI photo editing series. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do different things within the software and the feature today I want to talk about is called Body AI. As a lot of you photographers know, camera angle, lens distortion, all these types of things can affect the way your photo comes out in the end especially when you are taking pictures of the human body. Well, Luminar AI now has something called Body AI. Today, I'm going to show you how you can re-affect your photo and intelligently pull a couple sliders and change the way your image looks to your liking and in a natural way. And that's what I find very cool about Body AI is that it's able to adapt and do what you need it to do in a natural way so it doesn't look weird, pushed, or artificial. So here we go, without further ado. Just to remind you, if you wanna check out some of the specials that are happening, you always check in my description because I go and re-edit them for the time that the video is being viewed. Always check in the description to see if there are specials and you can go to the link that I supply because I am a Luminar partner you guys check it out because you might be able to get a deal so without further ado let's just play a bit with body ai and here i got a photo right here of julie so what essentially i really wanted to show you guys is the power of judgment of luminar ai and how it can actually judge what it can do now as you can see from this shot there's not much to do uh, i think uh you know julie's in good shape that's for sure that's for a uh, very sure she was, and she's like a pole dancer. She works on pole dancing. So this was uh, one of her shots. Now, what I'm going to do is go into edit right away. And uh, I think what I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to crop this photo. Just crop it to the way I might like it. So I'm going to make it, make her fill the photo just for the sake of the tutorial. Uh, cut her feet off. I n never like to cut feet off, but we're going to do it here. Put the pole straight. Make sure it's straight. There you go. And I will click that and there you go. So let's say you're in another tab, like let's say you're in essentials and you want to go and work on the body. You always go into your portrait tab where there's a smiley face right here. So if we go into the portrait tab, we can go right here into body AI. Now, what we want to do is affect the area right here. Let's say we want to make the whole body, make this person look completely thinner. All we got to do is bring up this slider right here. And as you can see, it can make someone look a lot thinner. And it seems to be able to look at proportions and the way somebody's built to actually do that. Now, as you can see, I really made the choice to get someone who was already well built anyways, just because I don't want people to, I don't encourage people to use this a lot. But again, sometimes when there are lens distortions and camera angles are different, people can look bigger than they really are. So it's kind of fun to use body AI. So here's just an example. This is a bit extreme. Now you can also narrow in and say, you just want to make the abdomen uh, smaller. This is really cool. And I don't know how Luminar does it, but it's able to judge how to bring in the actual abdomen, even if it's a front shot. Here, just, just let me show you a tiny bit. Can you see that happening? You gotta look really close. Now, if you bring that in, let's say I bring that in a tiny bit, it's just working on the abdomen section and not really touching the side view. I will do a before and after so you can see the difference. This before and after, before, you see that? It's reducing just the belly and the sides are staying the same, which is really quite cool. So really that, that is all I, what I wanted to show you here again. So if we go here, we can take the overall shape and bring the person's size down. I'll bring this back to zero using the numerical. Okay. And uh, let's bring the abdomen back to zero. That would be zero. When we bring this up, you can see the abdomen coming in and getting sucked in. Now, Let's just do another before and after so you can see. That's after, that's before, after, and before. Now I will try another photo, go into my catalog and click on Alexi. Same thing. 
and XC. I will do first a crop on this. So we go into edit. We go to the section right here, composition. I will do a little cropping here just so we can get her just in the image. Make this straight. Never forget to make your photos straight, people. Never forget. Here's Alexi. Now I could play with, uh, I can also have fun with uh, portrait on this, but for today we're going to be doing for the sake of this tutorial, just body AI. Now, as you can see, there's a couple of dots already. There's been an analysis already done on the photo. Uh, let's pull this down right here and you can see that's the natural abdomen as it was. We can pull this up right here and you can see how it's just sucking in the abdomen. You can play with shape with this one right here where it brings in everything. Now, you can even widen if you want someone to look more hefty. Probably people who have to edit bodybuilding shots might be interested in actually making the shape look a bit larger and thicker. So that might be something they're interested in, but most people for fashion will go the other way. Now you can't go too crazy. As you can see, it does some weird stuff and it gets out of proportion. But if you play and you use this just to your taste, especially the abdomen uh, button, I, which I find really, really practical, you guys, you can do a lot of great stuff. So that's all I wanted to show for body AI. And, um, I hope you guys like what you saw. I really do because I think it really does a great job at actually judging and doing something that's decent, that makes sense and is not too, too crazy. You guys like, share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing. Mm -hmm.